Hi, Group D. We're on Lesson 23, Extension 23. All right, here we go. Say train, sound train. Say spray, sound spray. Say grain, sound grain. Say praise, sound praise. Okay. Let's review our sounds. Sound, 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 sound. Sound, 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 sound. Don't forget all of our sounds are in your binder on the paper that looks like this. Please be sure to practice all these sounds. Okay, today we're going to review a few rules that we have to remember as good readers and writers. When we're adding ing to a word, we have to find the vowel, how many consonants after the vowel. If there's only one, we have to double the final consonant and add ing. The same rule applies to adding ed to words. Read, read, read. We're gonna add ing to wag. We look to see the vowel, how many consonants after the vowel. There's only one, so we have to double it and add ing. Read. We're going to add ing to ask. We find the vowel. There's two consonants after the vowel, so we do not double anything. Read. Read. We're going to add ing to land. We find the vowel. There's already two consonants. We, there's no doubling, and we add ing for landing. Read. Okay. When we add s to words, there is a rule to remember. If a word ends in double s, double z, tch, or ch, or X or SH, we add ES instead of just S. Let's practice. Read, read. Remember the ES says as, pass as. Read, 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 read. Read, 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 read. We add ES and not just S to words that end in S, Z, TCH, CH, X, or SH. The final re rule we're going to review today is when we're adding ing to words. Some words are very similar. Is this hopping or hoping? Well, there's a rule that we can use to help us with our reading. We have to look at the vowels and how many consonants are between the two vowels. If there are two consonants, 
between the two vowels, the first vowel is short. So this word is hopping, not hoping, hopping. Okay, is this word taping or tapping? Let's think about our rule. Find the two vowels. How many consonants between the vowels? There's two. If there are two consonants between two vowels, the first vowel is short. So this is tapping. Okay. Is this hopping or hoping? When we add ing to a magic e word, we have to drop the e so it can get tricky because the e is not there to tell us that the e makes the o say its name. So we can use this rule. If there is only one consonant between the two vowels, the first vowel is long. O bing. Okay. Is this tapping or taping? Find the two vowels, there's only one consonant. So that means if there is only one consonant between the two vowels, the first vowel is long, t, a, p, ing. Okay. All right. Let's use all of our sounds for our decodable words. Here we go, get ready. Read sounds. Ready, read sounds. Ready, read sounds. Ready, read sounds. Ready, read, sounds. Ready, read, sounds. Ready, read, sounds. Ready, read, sounds. Okay. Go ahead and pause the video and practice reading these words. We're going to practice reading words, longer words by syllables. Syllables are the chunks of words and we use these chunks to help us read longer words. All right, let's read the first syllable. Next syllable, put it together. Read the first chunk, second chunk, next chunk. Put it all together. Read the first chunk, second chunk, put it together. First chunk, second chunk, put it together. First chunk, second chunk. Put it together. Good. We have some new sight words today. Here's the sentence. The dog came toward him. The word is toward, read, spell, read. The next sight word. Listen to the sentence. Our team won the game. Read it with me. Our team won the game. The word is won. Read. Spell. Read. One more new sight word. Listen. They often read stories. The word is often, read, spell, read. 
Let's practice all of our sight words that we've been working on. Ready, read, spell, read. Read, spell, read. Read, spell, read. Read, 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 read. Okay, remember boys and girls, group D, I challenged you to not only be able to read your sight words, but also to be able to spell your sight words. The story today in lesson 23 is chapter four for the firefighters. The firefighters, chapter four, clean up again. We're not going to read the story together, but go ahead and pause your video and go ahead and practice reading it two times and then answer these questions by underlining the text evidence. Question one. How do Lee and Vic wash the truck? Question two, how do the firefighters clean the hoses? Okay, boys and girls, go ahead and I want to make sure that my group D is reading longer books. Maybe you're reading a chapter book. Make sure any book that you pick up, make sure it's a good fit by opening the book at any page. Start reading, and every time you don't know a word, put up a finger. If you only have one, two words you don't know, then that is a good fit book. If there's three words on the page you don't know, you might need some help. If there's four or five words you don't know on a page, that is not a good fit book for you to read independently. So please pick a different book. When you are done reading any of your books at home, go ahead and log in to your AR program and take those quizzes, those AR quizzes on any of your books that you've read at home. Or even if you're reading a chapter book and it takes you a couple of weeks to read, that is fine as well. Group D, you need to be reading for fluency and you need lots and lots of practice. Hopefully you're reading lots of different things, fiction and nonfiction. Okay, have a great day.